Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show off an amazing solo strategy for the Banlands raid. We're going to start with the gear setup and I'm going to pin a comment down below showing how to get each piece of gear. Anyways, you're going to want the cape of Armadez, one with over 50% armor shred. You're going to want an eliminator with decent bonus attack speed. You're going to need the Ocurious shield, the shining chest plate and shining leggings, as well as the deep sea dweller hat charred fang and vampire charm so you do need a lot of raid stuff with this setup now if you haven't done the raid yet you can do it with the ranges cape and star of the silent instead everything else is the same there's actually a code for the vampire charm so you don't need to do the raid for it so the strategy is very very simple the way the hat works is the more time an enemy damages you the more your attack speed increases so what you want to do is actually allow the mobs to hit you a lot so in the starting area i recommend you let the six guys punch you a bunch before you kill them the reason why is because you're going to build up a bunch of bonus attack speed once you do this you go to the second platform and it will make killing the golem red dude whatever his name is the really annoying tanky guy it'll make killing him a lot faster the reason why you want to build up attack speed before you go to this platform is because with only three mobs on the second platform you don't really take a lot of damage what you want to do in the lower area is grab every single mob and then run over to the dungeon master because the dungeon master is one of the most annoying parts of this entire raid so what you want to do is allow these mobs to deal a lot of damage to you so you can get a lot of bonus attack speed and then once you feel you've gained a lot of bonus attack speed that's when you start shredding now the reason why you want to do this is because the dungeon master actually can't hit you because he's too tall so the hat that makes it to where the more you're hit the more attack speed you get is pretty bad against him so what i recommend you do is you keep on spamming your attack and once it slows down i recommend you swap your hat out for the nightmare hat because it gives you a lot of bonus attack speed by default and then once he's dead i recommend you switch back to the deep sea dweller the next area is very simple you're going to gather every single mob up together let them hit you a bunch and then you just instantly shred them and this should give you enough bonus speed to clear the next two mobbing areas very very quickly you just do the same thing group them all up and shred them now you're on to the first boss so the vampire lord is incredibly easy with this setup you just sit in his face and hold down your mouse and you win you will not do a lot of damage right away but the more he hits you you just become like a minigun and you just shred everything the rest of the raid at this point is very 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 easy all you want to keep on doing is grouping up all the mobs together so that they can keep on hitting you. The goal is to be taking as much damage as possible because with this crazy setup you get a lot of lifesteal. So you can just afford to take as much damage as possible to get as much um, attack speed as possible. You're going to clear a bunch of mobbing areas. There's going to be a small parkour to the next mobs, kill all of them, and then you're going to get to the second to last boss. This guy is incredibly easy. Just stand in his face, do not move, hold down the mouse button, and he will die very, very quickly. Then you're on to the final boss, and you just do the exact same thing. Overall, this strategy is incredibly simple and incredibly easy. It honestly is faster to do this solo with this strategy than it is with friends sometimes. It is very overpowered. The reason why the strategy is mainly really good solo is because it is a very laggy strategy. So if you do it with a lot of people, the server sometimes dies. But overall, as you can see, you will never die with this setup. You will always kill everything very, very quickly. And you're also slightly ranged. So it is just overall outstanding. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below what other videos you want to see from me. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.